if you're in your 40s or 50s and one day you just kind of woke up and your makeup didn't work for you anymore, this video is for you. People usually fall into two groups. One group is they just couldn't get makeup to work for them anymore and so they just quit altogether and then somewhere around their 50s or even their 60s they decide that they want to wear makeup again and when they go to get back into it it's so much different they don't know what to do. The other group are people who wear it every single day and then just all of a sudden one day it's just not working. It's settling into fine lines instead of making them look more beautiful or feeling like they look more beautiful, it's actually making them feel worse. Let's start by talking about foundation. For this video, what you're going to need is some foundation. I chose these two. You're going to need some type of sponge. Now, if you're using this type, you want to make sure that you get it damp and wring all the water out before you begin. This type, you can use it wet or dry. I really highly recommend that you get some setting spray. This is my favorite. This one's by Scandinavia. It's a little bit more money, but it's worth every penny. However, if you're just starting out and you don't know about setting spray, you can just start with something simple like e.l.f. Now, we're gonna start on clean, prepped skin. The first thing you're gonna do is take your little foundation. I like to put a little squirt on my hand. Then, we're going to take our setting spray. We're gonna spray couple of times and then we're going to dip that into the foundation. Pick up that foundation and then we're going to start in the middle of the face. Now we start in the middle of the face because in general that's where most of us are going to need the most coverage and then we work outward to the edges of the face, which will thin out the makeup as we go. This is gonna do two things. With the setting spray on the sponge, we're actually setting our makeup at the same time. And when you set it, it's kind of like adding a little extra glue to it. So we're going to allow that to dry, and then once it's dry, we're going to use a dry beauty blender I'm gonna use a dry side of mine, and we're just going to press it gently into the skin all over the face, especially around any wrinkled areas. And that's going to remove excess makeup so that if there is a little bit too much there, it's not going to settle in those kind lines and wrinkles. And then I'm gonna do something similar under my eyes. I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna give it a little spray with my setting spray. This is just an inexpensive camouflage eye cream. And I'm just going to apply it with that little bit of setting spray on my brush. Just to take care of that discoloration there. And that's it. Now, I'm going to do the other eye, and then we're going to see if anything is creased up. Now, I'm going to bring you in really closely so you can see, hopefully, what I'm seeing. So when you look up close, right in here, I'm looking at my 10x mirror and I'm barely seeing anything crease up there. Now I cannot see any creasing here with my naked eye, but I do wear reading glasses. So when I look in my 10x mirror, I can see just a tiny little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that brush, spray it once. If you're wondering why I keep spraying it, it's because it will actually dry. So then we're gonna go in right on that little part right here where it's actually creased up just a little bit and I'm just gonna pat it into that area. And then we'll wait. Now that is looking really, really good and I'm hoping that you can see that there's no creasing. I did have to learn how to apply a little bit less concealer under my eyes and one thing that helped me a lot was using a dry beauty blender and after applying anything that I put under my eyes, just going in and blotting gently 
under the eye to remove excess makeup because that's really going to help a lot. So just blot. And then if you see any creasing after that, then go in with your setting spray and that should take care of that. Now for those of you who are just getting back into makeup and you feel like it's just a little too daunting to go with the sponge and the setting spray and all that, I recommend this right here. Before I show you how this really looks, I've got to remove that cover girl first. This is my go-to summertime makeup. It's the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh. This is the color 120, and I'm going to show you how simple this is and how good it looks. So I have a little bit of red in my face. I'm just going to start in the center with fingers. It just applies like a lotion. And then I'll use a dry side of my beauty blender just to make sure I haven't got any big pools of makeup anywhere. And give it a quick look up close. And that looks pretty good. So there we go. We've got a little bit of coverage. It actually did even out my skin tone a little bit, took care of some of that redness. Honestly, this is just a little less coverage than the CoverGirl gave me, and I've got the SPF protection in there, and it's gorgeous. I've actually worn this right up under my eyes and everything. It's pretty good. It just disappears. It just disappears into the skin and looks really, really amazing. Let's go ahead and finish off this makeup look. I'm gonna finish this off with some very simple products. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip gloss, and then I'm gonna use that for my blush as well. I'll use the clean side of my stand sponge to blend that in, adding some brow mascara in the color blonde. And if you need products, definitely look in the top pinned comment of the video or in the description for all the links and names of everything. To keep this look both easy and simple, I'm going to add a little bit of cream eyeshadow. This one is by Julep and it's called Matte Ginger. Once that's in place, I'm going to give it a little blend and it will set on its own. It's a nice light color, so I'm going to take a little bit of that color and go under my eyes to define them. Then I'm going to blur out some pores on my nose and go straight into some mascara. This mascara is called Lash Doll by Lancome. And it's a beautiful mascara that holds the lashes upright and doesn't clump. And I only found out about it recently from Leah at Maxine's Revenge. She's actually somebody that we're going to talk about in the near future because she's starting her own makeup brand for women specifically over 40. And I'm betting it's going to be amazing. And there we have it. How to keep makeup from settling into wrinkles. I hope you enjoyed this.